Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. This is Bear Fox, and today I'm going to be showing you guys best settings for NVIDIA GeForce Now in February 2021. Ever since the last guide I have made, there has been a lot of changes in GeForce Now. Every single settings that I have been showing you guys has been reconfigured. Also, you guys have been commenting that previous guide don't work, so here is an updated method. Make sure to share it with all of your crowd gaming friends so that they will get all help too. Anyways guys, thanks a lot for 12.8k subscribers. We couldn't have made it without you guys. Let's hit 13k really soon. Hit that subscribe button below and let's get started with the video. So first of all, I'm going to be showing you guys the best in-app settings. Open up your NVIDIA GeForce now and over there, go to settings. Now, I have told you previously about how to keep the streaming quality, but now there has been updates to it. What you have to do basically is go hit custom and set the streaming quality to 25 Mbps. Set your resolution to 1280 by 720 and your frame rate to 60 frames per second. Also make sure that you turn on adjust for poor network connection and you will be really good to go with your in-app settings. Now I'm going to be showing you guys the best external settings. What you have to do basically is open up the file location for GeForce Now. You can simply do it by going to GeForce Now and open file location and that's how you come over here. Now in this folder you'll see a lot of things but basically what you have to do is go in the view tab. And from there make sure that you have the hidden items checked and file name extension checked. Over there what you have to see is geforce now.json what you have to do is right click on that and go to properties now once you are in the properties make sure that read only and hidden both are unchecked and hit ok now right click on that and go hit open with and make sure that you use notepad now once you are here what you have to do is end with gfn accelerator the website clearly says that you should use the video processor that has dx11 capability so make sure that you have a gfn accelerator dx11 then over there what you have to do is the def window size leave it as it is what you have to do is scroll all the way down and find the vsync just make sure to do it false and go more below and uh, see iohid configurable make it true and the HIDPI make sure that it is true once you're done with that go hit file and hit save and close this setting that is all you have to do now what you have to do is restart your GeForce now so I'll close it and I'll restart it now here go back to settings and then you'll see the direct mouse input option what I have to do basically is turn that on make sure that you'll be using a USB mouse it will give you the least of the lag and also use a usb keyboard now there are some general things that i want to talk to you guys ahead of these things uh for running geforce now at the best quality you must use a wired internet connection anything besides that will give you blurry and stuttery screen all right now i can help you guys with some command prompt settings what you have to do is open up your command prompt and type in ipconfig slash flush DNS typing this will flush your DNS and give you a better connectivity also guys as I have told you previously go to your control panel and over there go to a network and internet then sharing connection center and over there click on Ethernet and from there go to properties and over there what you have to do is search for internet protocol v4 open this up and use 1.1.1.1 and 1.1.1.0 these are the best internet protocol settings that you can use click ok and close everything out also guys you can do is go to settings and over there go and hit network reset from there, reset your network and restart your PC once, it's gonna be helping you a lot. Also guys, there was a guy in my comment section below asking me to 
find a way if we can stop auto updating geforce now so yep guys there is a way you can really stop geforce now auto update just scroll in the geforce now json and you see nv startup auto update make sure to turn it false and the game will ask you to re-update the application then it's your choice to update it or not so guys i hope this video helps you out in any means if it does make sure to do leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this let's hit 100 like on this video and if you guys have watched this video so far i also have a discord server that you can join it today and talk to me also guys we are really close to 13k subscribers so please 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 subscribe to the channel it really helps me a lot and encourages me to make videos like this i'll see you guys in the next one till then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out